Hey, what's up? This is Rodney, and I'm back. And I wanted to talk about Sinbad on The Breakfast Club. That was a great ass interview. First of all, I listened to the whole motherfucking thing. It was almost like 50 minutes, I believe. Um, first of all, let's give a round of applause out for Sinbad. Sinbad looks good. I don't know what the motherfucker. I don't know what that motherfucker putting on his skin. Baby, you need to give us the recipe. Sinbad looks every bit of like in his late 40s, probably just turned turning 50. That motherfucker in his 60s. So anyways, they asked him about Monique. Girl, let me take a drink. And he basically said he stood with Mo he stands with Monique. Um one thing I don't like about a lot of y'all motherfuckers is if you're gonna stand in something, stand in something. If you're gonna believe in something, bitch believe it across the motherfucking board. When they asked DJ, when they, asked, I think when Angela asked him how much would he, well, how much would he request from Netflix if he was doing a, a special, and he says 20, 20 million, I'm getting paid the same thing the other motherfuckers get paid. They didn't give him no pushback. They wasn't like, well, based on the analytics and based on the numbers and based on the science and based on the graphs, you not gonna, you probably won't bring in that sin bad. That's probably why they won't offer you. It was just <laughs> giggles and kiki. Now, when Monique was just here a couple of hours ago, all y'all motherfuckers was trying to tell her was based on the numbers you wasn't going to bring in nothing. But when Sinbad say, I want 20 million, it's... <laughs> y'all niggas ain't shit. And then when he even told y'all out his own mouth that Netflix wouldn't even offer him a special, it wasn't no, oh, well, they probably, they probably looked at it and saw that you wasn't going to bring in no money. It was... <laughs> I said, no, these motherfuckers ain't. I'm not saying you gotta get into no, no full blown argument with Sinbad. But at the end of the day, you need to tell you need to let him know the same way you let Monique know the reason why he not gonna get no 20 million. Or the reason why he not worth no 20 million. Or the reason why they ain't offer him no Netflix special. <clears throat> Y'all niggas make me sick. Y'all niggas make me sick. If you're going to stand for something, stand for it, bitch. Anyways. He also talked about Justin Timberlake. <laughs> I told y'all last time, girl. Justin Timberlake in that PowerPoint presentation with Prince was some bullshit. I called it a PowerPoint, I called it a PowerPoint presentation when he performed that shit at the Super Bowl. And I'm going to call it a PowerPoint presentation today. That was some bullshit. It was disrespectful. It was just tacky and classless. Prince would never approve of no shit like that. And y'all know it. And I wasn't even no big Prince fan. I know like a lot of Prince songs, but I wasn't like to the point where like, girl, some of y'all girls walking around here with purple clothes on every day. <laughs> mm. Sinbad said he don't fuck with Justin Timberlake. He don't fuck with that nigga. That nigga ain't shit. All they trying to do is steal our shit. That's it. I've been saying that. I've been saying that. I've been saying that. Girl, I'm ahead of my time. I keep telling y'all. Y'all can hold. Y'all hold some sort of listening to me. They trying to steal our shit. Snap a white face on it. And there you go. I've been saying this shit. I swear I did ahead of my time sometimes. Sometimes I be wrong, but I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes, sometimes y'all be checking me. I have said that before. Sometimes when y'all say something in the comment section, I be like, that bitch don't know what she's talking about. Fuck her. And then I go to sleep, and then I wake up, and I'm like, yeah, that bitch was kind of right, though. <laughs> I ain't gonna tell her, though. <laughs> I'm just gonna like her comment and not say nothing. <laughs> but you know, niggas always, you know, a nigga ain't gonna never say when he right or when he wrong. He'll say when he right, but he never gonna say when he wrong. I'll tell her to myself, I ain't just gonna tell y'all. But anyways, oh, he talked about Donald Trump, how, Donald, how cool Donald Trump was back in the day. Um, um, how basically the rich white man got these white people. You know, because if you notice, like all Republicans be either rich or poor white people. They done make, they, they convinced the poor white people that the niggas, the people of color, basically trying to steal all their goddamn jobs. Trying to steal all their goddamn money. You know, we trying to, we trying to take over the world. So we, we the enemy to the poor white person. Well, the truth of the matter is, the per poor white person, you ain't no different from us, bitch. We all in the same motherfucking boat. Them motherfuckers up there don't give a fuck about none of us. Whew. Yeah, I need to go 
listen to the interview. It's really, really good. Um, it's really, really good. You talked about how, like, the Cosby show, you know, how these big shows that they thought wasn't going to be shit end up blowing the fuck up, like, the uh, Cosby show, you know, Oprah. Um, he was basically like, Oprah don't need to run for president. All her skeletons going to come out. Let me say something. And I'm going to say this, and I mean this. I mean it all, all my heart and so. soul. Yes, if Oprah ran for president against Donald Trump, I'm going to vote for Oprah. I'm not going to vote for the motherfucking Donald Trump. Might vote for Oprah. But the truth of the matter is, we don't really know what Oprah stands on a lot of shit. Yeah, y'all like Oprah because she give away free cars and free um, iPods and iPads and, you know, computers. But for the most part, when it comes to real life shit that's going to affect people, we don't really know, what, like, what Oprah saying. When it comes down to real life shit, Oprah, where you going to stand on a lot of this shit? That's why you got to be real careful when you're running for shit like that. Either you're going to stand in it or you're not going to stand in it. Like President, like uh, Donald Trump, that motherfucker be all over the motherfucking place. One minute, one minute he throwing shade at the uh, NRA, and then the next minute, girl, he throwing shade at the kids. The next minute he throwing shade at the, like he don't know, girl, he, girl, Donald Trump, girl, girl. Anyways, like he said, a lot of her motherfucking skeletons going to come out if y'all don't think. If y'all don't think that Oprah got some motherfucking skeletons in her closet, y'all was sadly mistaken. Bitch, let Oprah run for president. All her business is going to be out there in the motherfucking streets. Because if you think that Donald Trump and his team not going to go hunting and searching, bitch, y'all think y'all love Oprah, wait till y'all find out her real team. And that's all I'm going to say.